Late last year, Procharger announced the world's first C8 supercharger kit, and it about broke the internet. But what I'm about to tell you is gonna do it all over again. Yes, the car right next to me and the car behind me on the dyno are the world's first factory PCM calibrated supercharged Corvettes in the world. Want to know more about this? Well, then you better keep watching. Last year, Procharger announced the shipment of the HO Tuner Kit Plus systems, and we have enjoyed watching customers rock these things all over the US, having a blast with them. But the engineers didn't stop there. They kept working in the background, doing track rentals, and hundreds and hundreds of R&D hours on both of these dynos to get to where we are today. And that is the huge announcement that Procharger wants to make and that is that we now have an HO system and a stage two system. Yes, both rocking fully calibrated PCMs on board. The HO system is at five pounds of boost still, and the stage two system is checking in at 7.5 pounds of boost. What does that mean to you? Big freaking power. So let's get on the dyno and make some pulls. Making dyno sounds is probably one of the best thing on the planet other than data. So that way we know exactly what this car made. Now let's dive right into it. First pull, 668 to the tire, 652 on her piping scorching hot pull. This is no brainer to anybody that's dyno these cars. Obviously your cold power is gonna be the big one and as she gets a little bit hotter, she comes down and levels out. That being said, please take note we're also an SAE correction. If we switch this over to standard correction, it would probably add about 20 horsepower to these numbers. Now, what's super neat about this is this is 93 octane that we grabbed down the street at the BP station. There's no fancy gas in this car. It just is what it is. And we know that here in Kansas, we get pretty much middle of the road fuel. Some places on the East Coast have some really good gas, so they might make more power than this. And over in California, the gas isn't quite as good, so they might make a little bit less. But what I do know is this is what she made right here today. And the factory calibration is doing what it should. The other thing is we're doing this on a dyno jet. Procharger does have two dynos here in house, both a Mustang dyno and a dyno jet, but we chose to do the dyno jet because one, most people are used to these graphs. They see them all over the place on the internet. And number two, it's quieter in this building, a lot easier to film. So that's it, 668, 652. And that's how we're coming up with about the 725 crankshaft power number. Because with the years of testing we've been doing, we noticed that these cars have about a 10 to 11% drivetrain loss, depending on the car. So if you take these numbers and add 11% to them, that's what you're getting at the crank. I know the internet likes to think it's 15%, but that, that's just not the case. It's really like 11. So the other questions we always get is, what do these cars drive like? How does it shift? How does the clutch handle it, et cetera, et cetera? Well, why don't we just get in the car and let's go drive. And I'm gonna show you how silky smooth yet aggressive it really is. Now horsepower is exciting and amazing, but it's nothing if it doesn't come with good drivability. What is drivability? Well, that's the car's ability to drive like stock, AKA starts the same, whether it's hot or cold. And if you're on your way to work, it's gonna be exactly the way the Corvette engineers designed it to do. And that's what this stage two system delivers is no matter how you're driving it, it's silky smooth and firm all at the same time. The only difference is 
when you give it the beans, it's got a whole lot more go. <laughs> That's a lot more woe in the go. Now all the fun driving aside, another little feature, just a little Easter egg that the Procharger engineers put into this system is that we always got a lot of feedback that our customers didn't really want to have the displacement on demand feature. They really wanted to turn that off. And that is the ability where the car goes from four cylinder to the V8 mode. So what they did is they made it to where the user now can activate and deactivate that system by a single push of the button on the steering wheel. So by default, the displacement on demand system is deactivated, however, by just pressing the cruise control button, it turns the system back on. So that way, if you're on a long trip or something like that, you can have it use the four cylinder mode if you would like, which I think that's freaking sweet. I really like that. We hope you enjoyed the sights and sounds from the dyno to the street drive of this brand new stage two supercharger system. And if you wanna know how you can get one of these in your garage, visit us at Procharger.com.